Hi Hans. Well, here we are again. Back to watch another movie we probably won't be able to see. Well, strange things have been going on here. But I have done some homework on this anime that keeps appearing on our movie screen. Yes? Well, it's called Yakunara Mag Kapmo, and it's about a group of girls in a pottery club here in Tajimi. It's a, a pottery town, you know. Hmm, pottery sounds a bit dull. Maybe it does, Jay, maybe it does, but you will be surprised by the stories hidden in that world. And I have one for you today, a special treat. Let's do this like a game. You have to guess the main character of the story. Okay. Okay. I'll give you a clue if you get stuck. Two. Two hands. Okay, but that's it. Take a look at the screen. Today I have taken control of the remote control, so no surprises this time. I'll believe it when I see it. Now, this is from a scene in Volume 9. The girls have gathered in the school pottery studio. What are they talking about? Is this the special treat story? Patience, Jay, patience. They are talking about the famous pottery that's been made here in Tajimi for centuries. Minoyaki, it's called, because this was once part of the land of Mino. So, the highly prized pottery made here was called Minoyaki, or Minoe. Back in the samurai days? Back in the samurai days. Uh, they were huge fans of Minoe, the samurai, I mean. But the cup she's got there doesn't look that unique to me. No, that's what they are saying. When we came to the 19th century of the new modern era, mass production took over. They started to make plain white porcelain for daily use in the household. That's progress, I guess. Yeah, but a bit boring. So they came up with this idea to make the porcelain more beautiful. That's what they're saying here. Right. You see that artisan sitting there on the floor, Japanese style. He is painting delicate patterns on the piece. And that way, it turns into something far more beautiful and, and valuable, even to foreigners. You mean foreigners bought this porcelain? Yeah, they started exporting, and it went really well. They took part in the World Exhibition in Paris in 1889. A particularly industrious man by the name of Enji Nishiura won international fame by exhibiting at the World Expo, where the Eiffel Tower, which was completed the same year, served as the entrance arch. The fair attracted more than 32 million visitors. Take a look. Look at that. And the Eiffel Tower was actually part of the exhibition, wasn't it? They built it just for the fair. Yeah, pretty fantastic. There were grand pavilions from all over the world. Pretty incredible stuff. You see the main one in the background there? Imagine a guy from our little town showing off his way there. Backwater Japan had badly opened its borders to the world. Ah, here is a poster advertising the World Expo at the time. Looks grand, doesn't it? Wow, look at that. Okay, but Hans, you still haven't given me any clues about the special treat story. Right, here's one. Nishiura got to receive maybe the most prominent person in all of Japan at his residence in Japan. Uh, well, he got wealthy and sold well abroad, and the girls in the manga discovered why. They took a look in the pottery book to find some pictures of Nishiura Yaki, as you can see, and here is what they found. Well, that is pretty, isn't it? Yeah, the Americans like this style. Nishiura made good business there. Now, about his visitor, 
The mansion in Tajime is gone, partly moved to Kyoto, but the garden is still intact. It's a sightseeing spot now. By the way, we should remind the viewers that the animated drama is coming on TV this spring. You'll find all the info in the description below. Shh. I'm trying to solve the quiz, man. The most prominent person in Japan, you say. Visiting this guy, Nishiura. Hmm. There was a time he was viewed as even more than a person, that visitor. Any more hints? You'll get them next time. No, that's not fair. We said two clues, remember? No, we didn't. Yes, we did. Come on now. Oh, you remember what I said, didn't you? Now, now we're good. Thank you.